Welcome back. This is the 14th video in the Flow Certified Professional Online Training Series. And we're going to look at VSPT and what the definition of that is. So our takeaway for this, for leadership takeaways, is uh, VSPT is Vision, Strategy, People, and Tasks. As I shared earlier when we talked about the napkin, when you have vision and strategy, there's always this line in between that represents the disconnect between people and tasks. Now, the original model used to have it laid out slightly different where it was vision, strategy, projects, and tactics. And what's interesting about this is, is that if you think about projects and tactics, that's almost like the hard work that has to be done. And it's the, you know, the really hard management side of the VSPT. And this actually comes from that part with the projects and tactics. That version of VSPT comes from West Point Military Academy. It was part of what they would teach in their elite leadership for their teams. And so as you're looking at this, <clears throat> you need to keep in mind that there's like theory X and theory Y. On the X side, you're looking at the hard work that has to be done, uh, you keep beating the sheep until morale improves. And on the other side is the soft skills, the leadership skills that you need in order to be able to succeed. And so in since this is a leadership framework, we looked at this and we said, you know what? It really does it's not just the vision and strategy that's disconnected. It's the people and the tasks the people are disconnected from the strategies. They're disconnected from the vision. And so that the tasks that they're doing are totally divorced uh, from what they might actually have to be doing in order to succeed. And this becomes, this part is a leadership VSPT. And it's the soft skills that are needed in order for you as the leader Regardless, regardless of what level you're at in the organization or hierarchy of the organization. Uh, I know that pure, agile purists won't like it that I'm talking about hierarchies. Uh, sorry, there's just too much studies and research out there that if you look at how leadership emerges in groups and teams and organizations, it always breaks down into a hierarchy. Sorry, that's the reality. And f the Agilists ignore that hierarchy to their own de detriment and to their own peril. And so from a leadership perspective, the soft skills that you need to be able to have in order to implement your vision and implement the strategies, it's going to take people to do it. So you better know how to lead and motivate people and it goes beyond money. It's autonomy, mastery, and purpose are the three top motivators, but there's a whole bunch of others on the list that are absolutely required in order for you to effectively lead, okay? But for flow leadership framework, this is extremely important. And as, as we put in the original with the 4D model or the 4R model, there's a VSPT that is for the individual. What's my vision for being working for this company or on this project or with this team? What are my strategies? What is it that I'm trying to achieve? Am I the right person? And can I do the tasks? Is it within what I, is it doable? Is it achievable? If, it, if it's matching up, if those two parts match up, I have a really good chance of delivering really high value. If what I can deliver task-wise and what they need, there's a huge gap, I'll just get demotivated. And opposite, if, if it becomes where 
the tasks I'm doing are just way too easy, I'll get bored. So just like that was shared way early when we were talking about some in some of the earlier videos about that, it's really important that the individual's vision aligns with the team and with the product and with the organization. And you're going to have a VSPT for your team. Do we have the right people again? And remember, with the flow friction analysis, if we don't have the right people, it's going to create anxiety. And if we can't get our tasks done, we're not going to be able to deliver. And so there's a VSPT for the teams. For the product, you're going to have vision for, there's a product vision, obviously, because it's, it's, it's solving some kind of problem for some person or individual or company, or they're not going to buy it. So your product, service, and result, there's a vision for it, and you're going to have product marketing strategies and all kinds of different strategies, product strategies, product lifecycle management strategies, all kinds of things in the product box for the VSPT. And then for the whole organization, there is a vision for the organization to exist, and they're going to have all kinds of strategies as well. And we're going to use VSPT in other parts of our framework and in the models that we use, but it all comes back to vision. When I redid that picture with all the tiles and nine of the 18 tiles has to do with vision, we have a lot of work to do in a company because Half of what we do with the flow leadership framework, which is your umbrella that helps all these different parts work together and step into states of sustainable flow. It's the umbrella that holds it all together. And the key part of that umbrella that holds everything up is the vision, the overarching vision for what it is that you're trying to achieve. There's a lot of ways that we can use VSPT. And remember, we're using the leadership version of this where it's vision, strategy, people, and tasks. We're not using the management version of it where it's vision, strategy, projects, and tactics. That's, we can use it to help describe the hard work that has to be done. But for a leadership framework, we're basically talking about this is what we need to achieve in helping motivate, inspire, and lead our people. Now, building political and critical mass using VSPT. I forgot to mention that Newt Gingrich actually used VSPT. After Bill Clinton got elected, Newt Gingrich took over the House and Senate. With the Republican Party, the Republican Revolution was built using VSPT, whichever direction it is, over here, I'll point with the mouse pointer. Uh, VSPT was core to what Newt was doing, and it was critical to their success. And so they had the vision for taking over the house, they had the strategies, they used projects and tactics in order to achieve that. But they also had the right people doing the right things at the right time, in the right way, they got the right result. And so VSPT is going to appeal to people who've worked, uh, been in the military. It's going to appeal to uh, people who have worked in politics and understand that in order to build critical mass, you need to use tools like VSPT hand in hand with the other tools that we're teaching, like you're going to see in videos a little bit further down on how we handle stakeholder management. So uh, this is just a very small part of what we do, but it's a key part and it's very critical and it's extremely powerful.